Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today Proverbs chapter 21, verse 31, where God says, The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but safety is is from the Lord. In other words, the most important thing to understand is that nothing succeeds against God and nothing succeeds without God. It is vain to trust in horses and chariots is what the Bible teaches. It's better to trust in the Lord than to trust in a prince, the government, or a man, or silver, or gold. Don't trust, the Bible says, in uncertain riches. The Bible also says, offer God a sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in him. Because nothing succeeds without God. Get as close to God as you possibly can get. And then be as obedient as you possibly can be. Let Almighty God wrap his eternal arms around you and then walk through this life trusting him. Offer God a sacrifice of righteousness. That's how you put your trust in him. It begins by living the way he wants you to live, even when it's painful, even when there's sacrifice involved. Offer God a sacrifice of righteousness and trust in the Lord. That's what the Bible teaches. And you can trust him. <clears throat> if you live for him, you offer him a sacrifice of righteousness, you can trust him. Make your plans and practice and prepare and plan because without God's help, then you're not going to succeed though, see. It is wise to plan and to practice and to prepare, but it is unwise to trust in those preparations and in those plans, no matter how good they are, instead of putting your complete and total trust in God who may let you follow your plan or he may cause you to change directions. So that's where the trust comes in, you see. Stick to him. Stay close to him. Live for him. And he'll work things out. Let's go into chapter 2. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver or gold. A good name refers to a good reputation. And a good reputation comes from having good character. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how sin, how popular sin may become. People still have a good reputation if they have good character as measured by the Word of God because they're trustworthy. They're honest. They're decent. If joy and satisfaction are the goals, then live for Jesus and develop good character. God says that the benefits of a good reputation and good character outweigh the benefits of even wealth. Study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible verse by verse. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, you can be by praying for me and God's Word. That makes you an immediate part of this ministry, a very important part, and I'd appreciate it. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the Donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry, and I'd appreciate that very much as well. Until next time. So long, everyone.